biscuit. Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're grilling up some fish tacos at the pit, and it's real easy to do. All right, for the fish, we're going to be using some fresh mako shark from the fishing tournaments just offshore. All right. Now, for this recipe, you're going to need some granulated garlic. Here we've got some cumin. We've got some mustard. Here we've got some mayonnaise. We've got some salt. We've got some corn tortillas, we got some lemon, cilantro, you know, all good taco stuff. Some cabbage, brown sugar, we got some uh, marmalade, some sauces, we've got some pico de gallo, oh yeah, fresh, sour cream. All right, let's put this together. Now, the first thing we want to do is make a cure, right? And uh, for the cure, we're going to use some uh, brown sugar, of course, and some salt. Right, that's typical of any cure. Oh yeah, mix it up good with some granulated garlic, and we got ourselves a cure. Now, the idea with the cure is you want to at least do it for three, four hours, right, before uh, smoking up this shark, or even overnight. Either or, you rub it on nice, just like that. Oh yeah. Now, if you've never had uh, whew, fish tacos before, you get, definitely got to check it out, right? And it even gets better when you get your hands on some mako shark here. All right. Now, we're going to throw it in one of those Ziploc bags. Simple enough. And get all of that uh, brown sugar and salt and garlic in there, right? And we're going to let it sit. Like I said, at least three or four hours. Now, there's no way all that flavor will penetrate that entire piece of meat. It just doesn't happen. But the surface flavor will be awesome. Now, for this recipe, we also want to make a sauce, a simple sauce, right? So we're using some mayonnaise, right? About a half a cup. We got some mustard. We're using a brown mustard, about a quarter cup right there. And here we've got some cumin, simple enough, about a quarter teaspoon. And you're going to need some lemon juice, right? Use a fresh lemon if you got it. And a couple tablespoons will work, All right? Oh, man, this is going to be good, I'm telling you. All right. Now, fish tacos. Among the best tacos you can get. Anybody who's into tacos knows exactly what I'm saying, right? Whoa. But we're going to kick this up a bit, and we're going to smoke our fish. Low and slow. Bring on some great flavor. You can't get it to any uh, regular old Tacoville, right? You know what I'm saying? All right. We have cured this now for at least four hours, right? And what we're gonna do is wash off the cure because it's got salt on it, it's got sugar, right? We're gonna rinse it, get it out of there. And we're gonna apply a new rub. Now, look at that fish. Oh, if you've never had uh, mako shark before, you definitely uh, gotta check it out. Some good eating, right? Now. I happen to have the secret ingredient. I've got some rub. And choose your favorite fish rub. There's a lot of them out there, right? I use just a good barbecue rub. And we're gonna apply it. Fairly thick. We're gonna get a lot of flavor from this. Oh, man. Ceviche, maybe. This is ready to eat, maybe, huh? Ha. All right, now, we're gonna, um, Put it on our kettle here. We're gonna do indirect grilling, right? That allows us to smoke it. We don't wanna be over direct flames. We'll have a uh, kettle temperature of about 225 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. It's gonna take a while. All right, now, we've been smoking this for at least uh, maybe an hour, more or less, and we're gonna make up a marmalade sauce and uh, it's just as uh, I said it's marmalade and uh, use some beer right just to break it down a little bit now if you're not into the corona thing 
All right? You can just use water, some apple juice, whatever, all right? And we're just going to heat it up. And it'll only take a few minutes. Simple enough. All right. The beer marmalade. It's actually an orange marmalade with some beer in it. It's done. Now we're just going to paint some on our shark. Now, of course, uh, if you don't have ready access to shark, you can use your favorite white meat fish. Right? Simple enough. Whatever you've got available locally will work. And we'll just keep brushing on this uh, marmalade beer sauce right here. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? Happy grill in amongst the uh, happy trees. <laughs> All right. Take a look at what's going on here. Now, we've been uh, smoking this fish uh, just under two hours, more or less, right? But uh, we're often asked, well, how long does it take to do barbecue? It's all relative. <coughs> We're looking for an internal temperature of about 135 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what you're at. All right, now, we're going to need uh, some shredded cabbage for this recipe. And if you know tacos, you got to have that cabbage, right? All right. Now, take a look at that. Woo-wee. I say it's ready to pull it off the smoker. Oh, man. Lord have mercy. We'll let it set a little bit. And now we're going to shred it. So we'll pull off the skin. Of course, the skin is like leather, right, on shark. And we'll shred it. We'll chunk up the meat a bit. Take a look at that, though, huh? That's no ordinary whitefish. If you can get your hands on some shark... Go right ahead. Enjoy it. Some good eating. And I know some of you out there say, oh, it's a protected species. Not all of them. We have an ample supply of Makos off the coast here. And this is why they have uh, annual fishing tournaments, shark fishing tournaments. So these are caught with uh, minimal environmental and social impact, right? You all know about that. Nice, beautiful chunks of shark. Jaws got nothing on us, eh, Spielberg? <laughs> Pilot high, don't miss a piece. <laughs> oh, man. Are you kidding me? Take a look at that. Don't need to say any more. All right, now, you know all about making tacos. We're just gonna take these uh, corn tortillas and heat them up a little bit, bring them back to life. Yeah, simple. Ooh. Gotta make a bunch. Only takes a minute, and they're ready. Perfect. Yeah. Now this is where the um, pitmasters get the uh, get to make up some uh, fish tacos, right? So they're gonna throw a little cilantro into the uh, pico de gallo. And, of course, use a pico de gallo, whatever your favorite uh, type salsa is. Of course, this is fresh, fresh tomatoes, uh, fresh onion, little jalapenos. We even put a little bit of cuke in there. We had some fresh cucumber. Load it up with your fish as much as you want. All right? 
We've got our sauce. And the sauce means a lot to these tacos, as you know, so make yourself a great sauce. We've got a little bit of hot sauce to throw on. You do it the way you want. That's pitmaster privilege. But this, uh, this here kind of works. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Throw a little bit of shredded cabbage on there. Gonna mix some sauce. Mm. Grab on the lay, baby. And, uh, who's boss? Yeah. We don't apologize for eating in front of you like this, but we call this Pitmaster Privilege. <laughs> All right, you're just going to have to make up your own. And we told you it was easy to do. All right? Yeah. Just like that. Because we go, maybe you can eat a, eat a half a dozen of these. At least. All right? You do it yourself, you'll never get cheated on that fish. Alright? There'll be plenty of it in there. Now uh, you can head on over to our website to get the exact ingredients, right? That's easy to do. Be sure to give us a shout out, a thumbs up, subscribe to us, or follow us. We've got uh, 18,000 chapters in over 100 countries now. And uh, we appreciate your support. We've been doing this for 13 years on the tube and on Facebook. There's never an end, right? So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.